every automaker has ever created an ugly car. But the models on this list stand out because they are widely hated. For today's video, we will be going to talk about the top 10 most hated cars. Are you curious as to what these autos are? Just keep an eye on everything. Number 1. Pontiac Aztec the Aztec is ugly, and that's enough for most people to never even consider owning one. With those huge plastic bumpers and a nose worse than a new BMW, it's no wonder no one wanted to be seen in one. The Aztec had a split tailgate with seats and cup storage, removable beverages cooler in the center console, and even the opportunity to order an inflatable mattress and tent with the Aztec logo. This automobile was genuinely unusual and the Aztec is arguably more well-liked today than it has ever been after 20 years. However useful it could be, it's difficult to see beyond the terrible styling. It did receive the Grand Tours Award for the worst car ever constructed, but it's really not a horrible car. Number 2. Ferrari Mondio The folks in Marinello have built some legendary cars like the F40, the Enzo, and the 458. But sometimes even Ferrari gets it wrong. And that's exactly what happened with the Mondeo. It was criticized for being too boring to look at, too heavy, and worst of all, it was extremely slow by Ferrari standards. Even though 0 to 60 takes well over 9 seconds, there is some good news. Since it is one of the few Ferraris with 4 seats, your passengers can doze off while you wait for the speedometer to reach triple digits. The Mondeo is the best 4 seat, mid engine, convertible that's ever been produced. Number 3. Chevrolet SSR Have you ever wanted a two-seater convertible sports car that's also a throwback style pickup truck, has a 300 horsepower V8, and comes from the general in the mid-2000s? However, Chevrolet produced one in 2022, and we have no idea who it was intended for. Instead of the highways being filled with uninteresting sedans and SUVs, the automotive industry needs more bizarre innovations like this. Therefore, if you have an additional 20k dollars to spend, or get one of these and give the rest of us something fun and intriguing to look at while we're delayed in traffic. Alternatively, if you have even more money to spend, buy even more. Number 4. Infiniti G35 The G35 is built on the same basis as the Nissan 350Z, adding additional power, lowering the suspension, and adding good wheels will result in a pretty cool project vehicle. You can't get the open top wind in your hair experience from an Infiniti. With the V6 situated well back in the car engine, you have to close a 50 over 50 weight distribution. Add that to 300 horsepower and the optional 6 speed manual, and you have a superb little sports car for as low as $7,000. Number 5. Subaru Forester XT these days, the fast SUVs are everywhere. However, if you turned your SUV too sharply 20 years ago, there's a strong possibility that you'd wind up on your roof. When Subaru installs a 2.5-liter turbo boxer engine with 210 horsepower and lots of tuning capability into the Forester to create the Forester XT, this was a utilitarian SUV that was also really speedy and enjoyable to drive. In Japan, there was even an SDI version of this vehicle with WRX underpinnings and room for your dog in the back. This was actually a pretty cool vehicle that didn't receive as much attention as it deserved. Number 6. Porsche Boxster The Porsche Boxster is another vehicle that isn't quite as fast as its logo would have you believe. The entry-level Porsche, the 986 Boxster, has always been shadowed by the 911, considered a low-cost entry point towards Porsche ownership. However, the Boxster is a tremendously entertaining little vehicle that in some ways surpasses its larger sibling compared to the 911. It is lighter and smaller. The weight is distributed more evenly, thanks to the mid-engine design and many of them were equipped with a stick and three pedals. It will no longer perform as well as 911, but you could do much worse than the Boxster if you want a reasonably priced, exciting sports car. Number 7. C4 Corvette for many years, the C4 Corvette has been mocked, mostly by people who complain that it lacks the powerful performance of the more recent generation cars or the elegant classic appearance of the older generations. Even if it's slow by today's standards, the fourth generation veteran actually looks pretty cool with that wedged shape design in retrospect. But back in the 1980s, 
it wasn't that different from the rivalry. Additionally, the 2022 ZR1 could go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in around 4.5 seconds, which is comparable to a brand new Supra. The Infiniti G35 is thus something that is little more subtle and a blank canvas to go crazy with aftermarket items with. Number 8. Dodge Magnum SRT8 The Dodge Magnum SRT8 is the only other vehicle that can transport dogs while also embarrassing sports car on a drag strip. While wagons are cool, muscle vehicles are hotter still. As a result, if you combine them, you should get something genuinely unique. As Dodge discovered in 2022, it turns out that no one actually wants to purchase such a vehicle when they only sold 239 Magnum SRT8 and over 17,000 Challengers in the same year. This wagon could embarrass sports car at the lights and complete the quarter mile in just 13 and a half seconds, thanks to the massive 6.1 liter V8. But because they were kind of rare with only around 4,000 ever being built, they haven't depreciated that much. And you'll be looking about 30 grand to own this super wagon today. Number 9. Dodge SRT4 It's simply a modified version of Dodge inexpensive tiny neon commuter car. The SRT4 is ultimately much more. The offensive neon inside is still present along with the odd power windows in the front, but not for some reason in the back. However, if you lift the hood, you'll discover a 2.4 little engine and a large Mitsubishi made turbocharger that produces 215 horsepower and actually makes a pleasant sound. The biggest problem with the SRT4 was the people that bought them. Most were over modified, under maintained, or crashed into a tree by somebody that thought they were the Stig. It may be difficult to find a good one for sale, but if you do, you'll have one of the last remaining little manual cars that are actually enjoyable to drive. The Subaru Forester XT, however, still offers fun and speed if you require a little more room. Number 10. Pontiac Solstice Saturn Sky You might be shocked to learn that Pontiac might have the little two-seat convertible sports car you're looking for. Since most of the Pontiac and Saturn's most recent vehicles were essentially Chevys with different branding, it's likely that most of you have forgotten all about them. But when they revealed the Solstice Sky in 2022, they made a splash. This was essentially the rear-wheel drive, two-seat Miata in America with a manual transmission. The Solstice was a sales success when the order books opened in 2021, but by 2022, production stopped and everyone just kind of forgot about GM's little sports car. But if you were thinking of picking up a Miata anytime soon, the Solstice might actually be a less well-known alternative. So, which car has caught your interest? And which car do you consider to be the worst? Please let me know by leaving a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, please press the like button, turn on the notification bell, and subscribe to Mia Luxury Cars for more videos like this. Thank you for stopping by to watch. See you in our next video. Bye!